Alright, hello guys. Today we're going to be talking about what the rest of January looks like, these last eight days, what we're going to be enduring here. And we're going to be looking at the GFS model and even the GEFS, which is the GFS Ensemble model as well, just to give us a little bit of reassurance in what this model is projecting and how, how valid it really is. So we're going to be looking at today, and we're looking at warm temperatures along the east coast of the United States, all of the eastern United States, basically east of the Mississippi. You're pretty much feeling warmer temperatures. It should be quite obvious. Now, what we're going to see is through the next two days we're gonna uh, re-enter a cold phase by Saturday so by Saturday things will be very cold again uh, and there will be a major trough in the eastern United States just like we had before this ridge in the eastern United States we're not gonna be talking very much about snow chances in this video just really the temperatures and where the trough will be set up uh, we see a minor ridge also set up right around Tuesday the 29th uh, and this along the east coast, the very, very extreme east coast, east of the Appalachian Mountains for the most part, especially in the southern United States, uh, we will be looking at above average uh, temperatures here, at least 10 degrees above average for that day, the 29th, Tuesday. Uh, but then we see the cold re-enter by the 31st, and that will obviously be the end of January. Overall, very cold for January besides a few, two, maybe two days in this next eight days that will be above average for the extreme east coast. Uh, but those will be very minor and very short-lived. So we're going to be very cold for the rest of January here. Major troughs, two or three major troughs heading to the eastern United States. Probably going to be associated with snow chances as well. Uh, obviously because it'll be so cold uh, that we will have those chances move in just like always and that will lead to possibly snow for a lot of us. Now we're going to look at this GEFS ensemble model and I wanted to talk about this because it's it's actually really interesting that this is so far out on an ensemble model and if you don't know what an ensemble model is it is a kind of compiled forecast of multiple models. In this case I believe it's 30 for the GEFS so this is 30 models and this is the averaged out map. That's why it kind of looks like more low resolution is obviously because it's the the mean average of all 30 of those now the fact that it's showing pink temperatures in here which means below 15 degrees below average possibly or more for a lot of these areas at 192 hours out 30 models that's really really confident for an ensemble model and it's very very strong cold uh, very interesting stuff you this isn't very typical to see an ensemble model show this strong of a projection this far out so it's very confident that we will be very cold at especially the very very end of January and February the first week at least looks very cold as well anyway guys make sure to subscribe for the very latest information on all of this stuff I'll have a video out for the, like the early February forecast and then also by the end of January I will have the full February forecast out where we'll talk more about that February in uh, this January forecast looks like it did pretty good so we're gonna go over that as well eventually anyway subscribe again for more updates on snowstorms and everything uh, as we continue to progress through this winter. Anyway guys, I'll see you in the next video.